Well, Rube, let's just be grateful that nobody has cloned you so far. That would be a real disaster. <laughs> One good thing emerging from the copybot controversy is the formation of the Linden-approved Open Source Group, which is doing some very innovative work. Sounds like something we'll be covering again in the future. Yes. But now on to another subject. Chris, do you ever feel lost in the big wide world of Second Life? With thousands and thousands of islands and sims to explore, how do you know which one is really worth a visit? You're so right, Kira. There are so many people who recommend places that are supposed to be real hotspots. But once you get there, you end up totally disappointed and wondering what they could possibly have been thinking. This is exactly what led a group of people to come up with the idea of the so-called Corsa Guide. Let's join our staff reporter, Jan Henry Flanagan, who's going to show us how to get help in finding truly the coolest islands in SL. Where should I go today? It's one of the biggest questions Second Lifers ask themselves every day. Now residents have at their disposal a trusty online handbook called the Corsa Guide. It's published by Vauxhall Corsa. The idea behind the guide is to find out from Second Lifers which are the nicest and must-see places in the virtual world. Over a four-week period, members voted for their favorite locations at Corsa kiosks throughout Second Life. Over 2,000 votes were received and the first handbook for in-world fun is now complete. The guide highlights wild, wonderful, and just plain weird locations, including virtual ecosystems with magical spinning figures and a bubblegum music factory featuring music from the 60s and 70s, and millions of colors all over the place. If relaxing is more your thing, you should visit the Lost Gardens of Apollo. According to the guide, it's a calm and easy-going island with an incredible landscape. Looking for some action? Many residents voted for Bora Bora Island, making it one of the top three hottest spots in SL. It features a nice beach for surfing, jet skiing, and sunbathing, as well as dancing in a great cocktail bar. The best place for the best beer is, of course, an Irish pub. Blarney Stone on the Dublin Sim is the best place to have a chat with Irish lads and down a pint of Guinness. They also have traditional music performed live every night. And finally, the overall winner with residents was the island of Luskwood which is a forest where people dress up as animals and walk along wooden buildings. You just couldn't imagine what timber can be good for. So check out www.corsaguide.co.uk and start looking for your own favorite location. There's definitely a big selection to be had out there. Hey Chris, I wonder where your favorite place would be? Perhaps the Bubblegum Music Factory? Well, Jan Henry, unfortunately, my psychedelic days are over. But thanks for the tip. Please check out our website. And if you have any story leads that you feel we should cover, let us know. See y'all next week. And until then, here's wishing you all... A great second... Pause after all. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, wait a second. Uh, yeah, do you go ahead. See you all next week. And until then, here's wishing you all... A, a great, great second, second life. life. Sorry, I should have thinking about that. For information, comments, and suggestions, visit our website, www.lifeforyou.tv.